A while back, this book went to the top of all the bestseller list, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind. One of the interesting points that the author makes is that our most important development as a species after the discovery of fire was fictive language. In other words, the kind of language that allows us to describe not what is, but what could be. Ordinary language allows us to point at items and describe them. Rock, tree, paper, scissors. And it is very limited in the sense that it is functional. But fictive language goes a step further. It allows us to think about, to dream about, what could be. And he makes the argument that that transcended genetics. A dog from a thousand years ago might be the same creature as a dog now. Not so with human beings, because we have the distinction of language that allows us to pass ideas into the future and to dream about what could be. Early on that allowed us to plan hunts and to plan gatherings. Today it allows us to plan how to get to other planets and make ourselves an energy independent species. That's quite remarkable. Today's challenge for you, based on simple language, is this. What could be for you? Our ability to dream and to specifically put those dreams into words and express them out loud, that's the thing that sets us apart as a species. That's what allows us to transcend our genetics. What could be for you? When we dream out loud, we start to involve the brain in finding the steps necessary. But we must start with the dream. What do we want? What could be? What does your ultimate career as an expert look like? What is the highest level of you? Have you ever stated it out loud? Do that today. It's a great exercise. And it spurs the mind on and gets you thinking of how you might make that happen.